Let's give him a couple seconds to connect. Sure. Erica. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Do you have a picture? Yes, let's do okay. that. All right, three, two, one. Thank you so much. Okay. Excellent, thank you. What do you got for me, Scott? What do you want to say? You've got two minutes. Yeah, um, I love your stuff. Like I've, you know, watched all the, the shows and everything. I talked to you um, last year, about a year ago. Okay. Um, when you were on. And um, I think like we were talking about, like, you know, anxiety and stuff and like techniques to mm -hmm. like, you know, you know, just handle thoughts and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, do you find like, um, do you like have any techniques that you would say like, you know, helps you to like, you know, your brain to relax when you need to or? Mm. Well, I think it varies and it's sometimes I'm good at it and sometimes I'm awful. Uh, but my therapist was talking yeah. about the fact that when we, when we have these emotional things or we have anxiety and things going on, if you, if you're able to still be still and start breathing deeply, that just gets oxygen in your system. And then if you can start to actually just be observant about where the anxiety is in your body and what it feels like. Mm. So if it happens to be in your stomach, if it happens to be in your chest, if it happens to be manifesting in your head, if it feels like fire or maybe you're nauseous, she says, that because then you start to put yourself into the part of the brain where it's analyzing it and you're observing it, yep. but you're not judging it. And a lot of times what we do when we're anxious is we, we put it in the emotion in it and then we're like, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be anxious. I shouldn't, we're judging the anxiety instead of just going, Oh, this is interesting. And I'm, and then the other thing she mentioned to me is never act in your anxiety, right? Never act in that moment yeah. of emotion, just let it pass. Cause it really, it will pass. So I mean, that's yeah. that works sometimes, sometimes I have to change all the stimuli that's going on. If it's loud, if there's too many lights, um, Sometimes water helps, like I have fountains and that sort of things. Not expensive things, like just a little, like go on Amazon and get yourself a cheap fountain and go in the dark room and like, I don't know. It's different yeah. for everybody. Um, the other thing that people say works for them is to get out and move because anxiety mm. is also a, your body needs to physiologically change location. So, so some people say, okay, be still if it's a huge panic attack and others will say, actually, it, it helps for me to get straight out and, and go for a walk and just deep, deep breathing. And another thing is you could read a book called breathe. It's oh, out. okay. I haven't heard of them. Yeah. So it talks about how the fact is, as humans, we, we never really breathe the way we're supposed to. And it's not just as pertains to, um, our anxiety, but it also is having to do with our sleep patterns, our health, everything, and how we've forgotten how to breathe. So there's some advice. Yeah. Throw it at you. See Excellent. What, you. Whether it works for you or not. You're very yeah. generous with your knowledge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way of saying you really talked a lot. But those are, I'm really, I'm really, um, yeah, that kind of stuff means a lot to me because I think it's important for us to know that we're not alone in our anxiety. So I hope that helps you. And I wish yeah. you a good day. And be well. Thank you. Well, oh, it was so you? um nice to meet you again. Pardon? It was so nice to meet you again. Um, nice to meet you too. Always, always great to hear you say. Yeah, thank you. I can see like that you've added time, which I appreciate, but I should probably let you go. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. Okay, we'll just say goodbye and let it run down. Excellent. Okay. I hope to see you uh, in person one day. Yeah, you too, Scott. No worries. Bye. See you later.